Hello and welcome to this video on mouse coordinates. This video is about how you get the mouse coordinates or at least one way of doing it. Uh, what I have here is I have a text box sitting right here and the gray area of course is a canvas element. And notice as I move my mouse around it I get the X and Y values of the coordinates. And, and one of the things to be cautious about the way I've done it here is that these are really the coordinates of the whole uh, browser window even though they they don't show when I'm off when I'm off the canvas like for example let me go way over here to the left of the canvas if you notice X is equal to 9 in other words there's 9 pixels between here and the edge of that canvas and when I go up here Y is not equal to whoops Y is not equal to 0 Y is e Y is equal to an 8 and I think the smallest value I can get here so uh, anyway, that's and, and the advantage of doing this, of course, is that now I know exactly where my mouse is on the canvas. I can click on the canvas at a certain point now, make something happen. I can uh, move the mouse over a certain point on the canvas and also cause something happen, as we saw in the demonstration video. So let's see, let's see the code behind here is what this does. This stuff right up here, this is my style, and that just simply helps me set the style for the background color and the my canvas, uh, which is the gray, which sets the background color here and the color of the canvas. That's all that does. Uh, what does the work here is this script, which is a function which I call um, here's here's the script right here, and the function I called it show chords. And there's the event uh, in the parameter list. So I set up two variables, a variable lowercase x, which is equal to a, a property of the event dot client x. The client x is going to be an integer that gives me the value of where the uh, uh, x coordinate of the mouse is on the browser window. And then I'm setting up a, a lowercase y here which is again a prop, uh, an event property for client Y which does the same thing that client X did except now it's doing it for the Y value. So what I have here I have document dot get element by ID T1 value. This is going to put a value into this particular document object and what the what T1 is if I come down here T1 is this input text t1 so effectively I'm putting this in and text t1 is this guy right here this is text t1 okay it's uh, it's an input type text with the ID of t1 and the value I'm putting in is a string uh, capital X equals end of string concatenating with the value of X concatenating with uh, two spaces and the string capital Y equals and then end of the string concatenated with the value of Y. So I get from that, from this right here, I get this X equals whatever and then Y equals whatever. Now th the trick is how, what happens when I'm moving this around? Well, the way I get it to work when I move it around is because I have this right here, there's my canvas and notice what I have here. I, I'm using the event on mouse move. Every time the mouse moves, every time the mouse moves, it calls this function show coordinates event. So every time I move the mouse on the canvas element, it's going to call the function right up here show coordinates. So am I moving the mouse? Yes. Yeah. So every time I move move the mouse, uh, it's calling that function. And that function in turn uh, displays the coordinates in that text field. Now we'll be using this in future videos in order to interact with my with the canvas element. And obviously, uh, to play any kind of games and stuff on a canvas element, uh, knowing uh, the coordinates of where the player uh, has their uh, mouse can, is is almost uh, uh, paramount. All right, so let me move this aside. If you want to look at the code a little bit more, stop the video copy the code, feel free to do so. Outside of that, that's it for this video, and thank you for watching.